That's what I came here to do, to do dirt, do bad things, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm here uplifting the community that I took so much from. So I, I'm just glad to be in this position to be able to give back, you know, because some of us don't get that chance, BJ. You know what I mean? So, so you see what I'm talking about? I see these are the examples of folks that you can see. Uh, at, when he was with Mad Dads, he's out on the streets. He knew a lot of people. He made a lot of connections, helped a lot of folks. I'm glad to see him navigating. He's part of the family. And, and I'm glad to see that he's also got a relationship with God because, see, that was the key. See, a lot of you don't want to have, you want to change, but you don't want to have a relationship with God. You don't want to have any spiritual thing. You want to do it on your own. But sometimes it's impossible to do it on your own. And I believe that if it wasn't for God being in me and his life, man, I don't think we'd be doing what we're doing now because it's, it's, it's the God part that God has made us say, you know what, it's enough of that. It was the God part that made that happen. And, and, and with that God part, then we decided, you know, it, getting high ain't that important. You know, uh, all the females ain't that important. You know, selling dope ain't that important. But helping somebody to change their life becomes increasingly important. Congratulations, man, what you're doing. Congratulations. I'm proud yes, of you, bro. I learned keep, for the yeah, best. Thanks, bro. <laughs> keep, hey, keep doing what you're doing. We're going to go over there. We got a brother over here. He's been over here sitting over here chilling, man, in that nice sweater. Hey, you know what? This is the kind of sweater that you wear in Minnesota. I don't know what kind of sweater it is, uh, Pastor. I don't know, but uh, he gonna tell us because I know men a sweater like that only in Minnesota can you wear that, and, and you know, and just this is where you belong. You you can't even come out of the house if you ain't got a sweater on. In this kind of weather, introduce yourself, bro. Tell oh, us what uh, you do. Oh, how you doing? My name is uh, Chidofo. Okuchu Chidofo. I uh, I'm a youth program. I uh, I, I conduct a lot of youths. So I uh, I try to be able to improve them, especially from the West African youths who have been, who have come to the United States that have been lost due to, due to the system of uh, for United States justice. So I try to be able to talk to them and uh, try to be able to direct them in the, in the good way of life because it's for them to be able to match up in, in the system of from the West Africa to the United States, sometimes it's wobbles for them to be able to catch up. And sometimes some people pass on in a, in a different way of life. So that's what I do for them. Now that's interesting, right? We would have went international. You see, we went from the streets to the continent. Now we, this is how we move on the morning show with Pastor Barbara Strutman. This is how we do this. It's because, see, it's important to understand that, that we all are from Africa. And, you know, uh, we are African Americans. And uh, America does not traditionally belong to America. America belongs to the Native community. And that we are all here on, on borrowed land, and, and we're here to make this a better place, many of us. And so when our brothers come, I work with a lot of the Somalian brothers, and they have the same issues. And there's a lack of fatherhood. You know, I'm going to say something because it's important. Some cultures don't talk about the lack of fatherhood. And I don't know why, but uh, many of our African 